It's me, Dave Landau, for Blaze TV, and I am reporting from Trump's home base right here in Detroit. We're going to go inside and find out exactly what's been going on and how Trump plans to win Wayne County. It turns out that this is actually a gentleman's club and does not belong to Donald Trump. I had to beat my way out of a fight, but I did get the pimp's coat and I now own three of his hoes. More later. So we have various merch here. We're at a Kamala Walt stand. So I take it you don't like Trump. So what happens, let's say, if he wins tonight? Are you fine with it? I don't see him winning. I'm not, I'm really not even living into that future. Hey, Derek, can you hand me a, can you hold up an XL or a double XL? Okay, so do you think this should fit Glenn Beck? This is absolutely, yeah, this would be perfect. I don't want to give it away. It was going to be a Christmas present. All right, well, this is going to go to Glenn. Let's find out how much it costs. We're here at the Luxor in Las Vegas. I'm sorry, uh, a cemetery in Detroit where the Dodge family is buried. We're at the cemetery counting voters, uh, seeing who wants who to win. Uh, Derek, what did you find? I talked to uh, 35 headstones. I got uh, uh, 33 um, Kamala Harris voters. I got uh, one Trump voter and uh, one voter for that uh, libertarian guy. Okay, so it does look like this cemetery is voting for Harris. We are here in front of a uh, Harris voter residence. Um, they did not answer the door. I looked inside. I feel uh, they must have been asleep from all the fast food they ate. There was ketchup everywhere and everyone was on the floor. So what we're gonna do is walk over here to this apartment building where some other Harris voters are at. We are in downtown Detroit in front of the Spirit of Detroit, and the Spirit is live and well. There's a man behind me who just was touching himself that is waving at the camera. Hopefully, we can get somebody around here. I bet. Hey, sir, come here, sir. Uh, I see, what is this you have here? This here is my electric unicycle, or you can call it a Bego T4 Pro, to be exact. I'm more so, uh, more so focused on the amendments that are in my state. The marijuana bill, I don't smoke, but I do have friends that do. So, you know, I'm voting yes for that one. I mean this respectfully, you're on a unicycle and you have dreads. Are you sure you don't smoke weed? 100%. They call me quantum edutainment. All right, quantum edutainment. Now, who, if I can ask, I'm just judging by the Kamala Harris sign. Is that who you're voting for? Absolutely, because we realize that this is the pinnacle of Putin imperialization through a, what they call a Putin pond. Can we talk to the mayor? How are you, sir? I'm just with Blaze TV. How are you? TV, yes. Right. And who are you voting for? I, I already cast my vote, and I think people can probably assume who that is. You heard it here first. Mayor Dugan says Trump is going to win. If you could change one thing about Detroit for the better, what would it be? I would say a little bit more unity. Everyone is pretty much the same. We all need the same blood. Do you feel like we're more divided than ever? Yes. Yes, we are yeah. more divided. I always consider myself Miss International. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel a lot better too, because we, we are the world. We are the children. We should sing this. We are the world. Got She's got it. We are the children. We are the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember the rest of the words. Come on now, you We are the ones, the ones who make a brighter, brighter day. day. So let's start giving. Yes, start giving. Now for you, if, Don, if Donald Trump was going to take you on a date, if you had to go on one, would you go with him? And where would he take you? Absolutely not. Just no, not, a, not at all? He could be like, let's go to the Ritz-Carlton. I'll pay for your like five stars. You, you could just, you hate him that much. You could give me a, a check for a, like a million dollars, and I still wouldn't go with him. I would do a lot of things to him for a million dollars. <laughs> so if if Trump wins, what will happen tonight? Let's just say, in in his nightmare. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. Okay. It would be a worse nightmare. Hey, how are you? I just want some fried chicken and biscuits. Fried chicken. Oh. And some hot sauce and some cornbread. I don't remember where we were, but uh, that's a good way to end it.